When the attack on January 6th happened, there was no doubt about the truth. At the time, even Republican members of Congress and Fox News commentators publicly and privately condemned the attack. As one Republican senator said, Trump's behavior was embarrassing and humiliating for the country. But now that same senator and those same people have changed their tune. As time has gone on, gone on, politics, fear, money, all have intervened. And now these MAGA voices who know the truth about Trump on January 6th have abandoned the truth and abandoned the democracy. They made their choice. Now the rest of us, Democrats, independents, mainstream Republicans, we have to make our choice. I know mine, and I believe I know America's. We'll defend the truth, not give in to the big lie. We'll embrace the Constitution and the Declaration, not abandon it. We'll honor the sacred cause of democracy, not walk away from it. Today, I make this sacred pledge to you, the defense, protection, and preservation of American democracy will remain, as it has been, the central cause of my presidency. <laughs> America, as we begin this election year, we must be clear. Democracy is on the ballot. Your freedom is on the ballot. <clears throat> yes, we'll be voting on many issues. On the freedom to vote and have your vote counted. On the freedom of choice. The freedom to have a fair shot. The freedom from fear. <clears throat> and we'll debate and disagree without democracy. No progress is possible. Think about it. The alternative to democracy is dictatorship. The rule of one, not the rule of we, the people. That's what the soldiers of Valley Forge understood. And so was me. What's, what, what, we have to understand it as well. We've been blessed so long with a strong, stable democracy. It's easy to forget why so many before us risked their lives and strengthen democracy, what our lives would be without it. Democracy means having the freedom to speak your mind, to be who you are, to be who you want to be. Democracy is about being able to bring about peaceful change. Democracy. Democracy is how we open the doors of opportunity wider and wider with each successive generation, not with, notwithstanding our mistakes. But if democracy falls, we'll lose that freedom. We'll lose the power of we, the people, to shape our destiny. If you doubt me, look around the world. Travel with me as I meet with other heads of state throughout the world. Look at the authoritarian leaders and dictators Trump says he admires. He out loud says he admires. I won't go through them all. It'll take too long. Look, remember how he refers, where he refers to what he calls love letter exchanges between he and the dictator of North Korea? Those women and men out there in the audience who ever fought for the American military, would you ever believe you'd hear a president say something like that? His admiration for Putin. I could go on. <laughs> 